kids lose their toys every day. I was made to help a child. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, welcome everybody to the Hump Day Show. Hey, uh, everybody. I am your host with the most, Los, aka Public Enemy 59. And this is Abby, aka DNA Gamer 90. Uh, make sure y'all follow her on Twitter. Say yeah. what's up, Abby. Hey, how are you guys doing? So, uh, today is a big day because uh, we are reviewing Toy Story. Four. Woo, you got a friend <laughs> in me. You, you got, got a, friend. a friend in me. All right. So, All right. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, leave. We're uh, you know we're gonna do mad spoilers. And Hashtag I mean, spoilers if you ahead. Seen, yeah, and come on, this is if you haven't seen this movie, go watch this movie because it's it's legit. So, um, yeah, let's. So I'm gonna start. You know. Um, I want to start the, the podcast off with the negatives first, the things we didn't like. Um, that way, we you know, we're not so negative in the video and we can end with the things we did like. So, starting with the things we didn't like, uh, what, what, did, what didn't you like, Abby? The story. I felt the story was very bland in comparison to all the other previous plots of the Toy Story franchise. Okay. Yeah. I kind of, I, I kind of understand what you're saying. Um, you know, they, yeah, uh, the whole trying to rescue Forky. By the way, Forky, did you, did you like him? <laughs> what do you think I, of Forky? I did I like him. I think he's hilarious. He was trash, 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 trash. And he's just trying to throw himself in the trash all the time. I thought it was funny. I thought it, it was, was hilarious. It was. Um, and yeah, they come back into, in the search for Forky, he escapes. They get back in touch with uh, a couple of old, uh, you know, uh, crew, uh, Bo Peep and the Sheep. You know what I mean? Um, Billy and then and the Yeah, and uh, in that antique store, and we come mm -hmm. across some villains, which I really like the villains. Uh, I did too. Gabby Gabby? Well, Gabby is legit so good. And the, the ventriloquist dumbness. Oh, oh my so God. creepy. So look, I mean, I really like, I get what you're saying. It's it's not your typical Toy Story story, mm -hmm. but I really kind of like the the changes. Um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, granted, yeah, the story was, uh, my thing with the story was the world. Um, it, it just, they kept it to very few places, uh, Bonnie's room. Uh, well, they did go to the school, and that's where Forky was made. Yeah, the, the kindergarten school. But yeah, I, yeah um, and then the carnival, and then the antique store, and that's it. That's all yeah. we really see. Um, no, there wasn't much interaction between the rest of the toys. Like, I expected seeing Buzz, uh, Jesse, um, the Potato Head, you know, Rex. I expected more yeah, participation, I agree with and you. I didn't get that. That's one of my negatives against the the movie was the fact that the other characters, the OG characters, were not very involved in the story, right? They were kind of kept themselves to Bonnie's room and they kept themselves to the, to RV. the RV. That was, it. That was uh, it. Which is a little disappointing. I wish they would have been a little bit more involved. And the part where they're like driving the RV, like, yeah, that I was like, okay, this is the, GP. That's, that's the only part where I'm like, okay, this is a little okay. dumb. They're like hitting the brake, hitting the, 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 you know, getting the cops on there, acting like the GPS. I was just like, okay, yeah. this is the one, the one part where I was like, okay, that's a little much. But mm -hmm. other than that, um, uh, I, I like the story. I like the okay. characters that are introduced. Uh, what'd you think of Bo Peep? Okay, this new incarnation of Bo Peep. Uh, I expected, I liked her character. I liked her fierceness. She was brave. I love that. The only part that kind of threw me off was um, the connection with Woody. You didn't really see it until the end. 
um, in the previous franchises, you know, she's always been very lovey-dovey, kissing him and stuff. And in this one, she was more like reserved, which is normal. Well, I will say this: they made her more, for sure, way more independent in this movie. Yes. And some people might not like that. You know what I mean? Some people might not feel that that's true to her character. Granted, she's been out in the wild, like she said, for years, right? Yeah, so she's been. Own. She's been in the world, you know what I mean? When when you when when you have a girl that's out there in the world, you know, for so long, she ain't she ain't gonna be the same. You know oh, are, you speak, are you speaking? Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> she ain't gonna be the same woman, so uh, I'm not surprised that she changed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, especially seeing, you know, she's over here saying things like, "I've seen a lot of things." Da da da. da. Yeah, that's what happens when you see a lot of things. You change. Yeah, she even broke person. her arm. I was like, oh, yeah. she broke her arm. Yeah. But she was yeah, she yeah. was cute, and her sheep were cute. I liked, I liked uh, her. I liked her. I liked her. Um, I liked I liked the characters. Uh, Key and Peel. So okay, uh, is that all the natives you had? In, in, yeah, in, yeah. That's any, just is it, it. All right, all the, right. The positives. Here we go. All so right, Kaboom. so let's get into the positives. <laughs> yes. Uh, he was Kaboom. good. Yeah, okay. yeah, played by Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. Really funny, really great character to yes. introduce. Uh, I wish good. they would have gone more into that uh, the antique store, that underground. Like all we do is go into that one club, and we yeah. don't see that aspect of the antique store anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, like like I said earlier, I really like the villains. I think this is like one of the well, other than. Uh, the bus buses villain, the alien motherfucker. Other than Zork? that, Zorg, yeah. Other For than Zerg, that, Zerg, Zerg, sorry. Zerg, 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 Zerg. Other than that, I think this has to be up there as like top villains in Toy Story, like Gat yeah, in the way, uh, like yeah. Think, come on, those ventriloquists are super creepy. I would Every say time though they that. Turn their head, you're like, I would say though it'd be like. The, the ventriloquist dummy, then Lotso, and then Emperor Zerg, no, Sid, the, the bad kid Sid, and then oh, Emperor Zerg. Oh, Sid, you know what? Sid was, Sid was bad. You're right, you're right. You so, know what? I may have, to, okay, Sid is number one to me, man. Okay. Because okay, that boy was right. evil. Yeah. That boy was evil. No, thank yeah. you for reminding me of Sid. But not nah, for sure, great enem uh, enemy uh, villains. Uh, yeah. And then how it turns in the end, how Gabby actually, you know, they feel for Gabby because she's just trying to get, you know, a, Love. a kid. She's trying to yeah. get a kid. Mm -hmm. And how they help her out in the end to find somebody. I thought, what a great turn. It was turnaround. good. It was good. Like, you know, it doesn't happen a lot, you know, uh, Darth Vader did it. Um, but <laughs> uh, and Gabby did it. You know, that's yeah. that's the kind of level I'm putting that up there. You know, like uh, retribution. But um, so, what was one of the uh, highlights of the movie that you liked? Like your like hands down favorite scene. Um, man, some of my favorite scenes has to do with the uh, just some of the jokes that were cracked. I, I think it was a really funny movie. I mean, I had this old dad sitting next to me and he was just kind of like stone-faced he had, he was there with his kids and i felt like a child because i was right next to him just like ah, ah, just cracking my ass up uh so that was kind of weird but anyways uh so my, my no, favorite uh, my favorite ahead, highlight was ducky and bunny when they uh are scheming to take away the keys from the oh old lady oh my god yes. that was like that was that was so it. That made hilarious for me. yeah you, i feel like key and peel had a huge part in that in in, in yes. those parts in their mm -hmm. lines because that is totally something coming from the minds of key, of and, key peel. and peel yeah. maybe i'm wrong but i feel like i'm no, gonna that, have to that. look up the credits because i feel like they have some writing cred in now in those credits their names no, they, gotta be they, somewhere they under brought their it. Writing. the the same energy you see from them in comedy central for sure yeah, they brought yeah. it with these two characters and it was it was funny i liked it yeah uh uh i mean so i guess one of my some of my favorite parts have to be um like the uh, when buzz and the 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 plushes were trying to get the keys and you know after they're scheming like 
they come back later and they're like, how'd you get the keys? And they're like, it was so difficult. And it shows the playback. And it's just them dropping off the key. She just dropped the, the key right in front of them. Yeah. Uh, just hilarious, man. Um, another one of my favorite parts. I mean, we got to talk about it. Uh, Woody's goodbye. And uh, this is this is also one of my positives of the movie. Um, for so long, Woody was always worried about his kid. First, Andy. Like, we got to make Andy happy. We got to... We got to get back to Andy. We got to do this. We got to do that. Like that was always his top priority. And then in this movie, you see that too. Bonnie, we got to make Bonnie happy. We got to get Forky back. You know, we got we got to get Bonnie. Uh, we got to make Bonnie happy. Bonnie happy. And I feel like what a great like come around. Uh, you know, to end all these four movies for Woody to finally be like, you know what? No, I want to be happy. You know, I, I want to do what, you know, I want to do things for myself now. And after yeah. so long of him always putting a, the kid in front and first for him to finally put himself first. I know maybe that didn't come across like they didn't vote, but that's what I took from it. In the end, when he's going to go back to Bonnie, he has a chance to be right. He's right there and he turns back and looks at Bo Peep and just like, yeah, no, let me. I'm gonna do this, and they says bye to everybody. It's goodbye with Buzz, man. Damn, like I, I don't, I don't cry. I didn't cry, but it still hit me, hit me in the feels, no doubt. Like seeing that, damn, that, that brothership between him and Buzz is is over. I didn't get the feels with this movie mm -hmm. as much as I have in the other movies, but I did say that scene was one of the more emotional ones, where I was like, oh, you know. Cute. I, I think you're right. It could have it could have been better. I do agree with that. Like it could have been more because it was kind of like kind of quick in my in my opinion. You know, he um, says bye. Yeah, the crew came and hugged him, and then that was it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the it. little um, to infinity and but and what he says uh, and beyond. And that was kind of it. That was it. Like, yeah. yeah, I wish that, I wish there would have been a little bit more to like, I don't know, maybe including the rest of the cast during the whole adventure would have been kind of built that relate like that ending up. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I kind of get it. But nonetheless, I mean, I really love the movie. Uh, I can't wait to buy it myself and just watch it kind of freaking uh, a hundred times, just I like I did the first one. If you haven't seen it, um, it's, I, I don't necessarily think it's like a movie to go see. I would say just wow. wait till it comes out. I, what it, a yeah. hater. No. Wow. I, it just left me very kind of like underwhelmed. So I would say if you haven't seen it, like there's no rush. You, you're not going to miss anything. Just no. wait till it comes out. Don't don't listen to her. Her views do not represent the three-way podcast. Okay, they do not represent us. Uh, guest host over here. <laughs> um, no, go watch this movie. Pay money, IMAX, 3D, whatever you gotta do. Go watch this movie in the theaters. Do not wait. It is right. worth it to go watch it in the theaters. I think laughing along with the whole theater that made the experience better to me. Uh, you know, hearing everybody else cracking up, enjoying the movie, I, I feel like it, it made the movie better. But all right, all right. That, you know, that's our thoughts. We're going to give it our final ratings, all right? So yes. I'm going to give it my final score out of 10, as we do here in the three-way podcast. And I'm going to give it a 9.25. 9.25. Simply because maybe the ending could have been better, even though I did like it. And not including the rest of the cast is, I feel, something that for us OG Toy Story fans could have been, would have been better. Uh, but yeah, 9.25, what you got? Uh, so I'm going to be a little bit harsh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. What a freaking hater. What a rookie I love score. To no, what? I, I, I what love Toy Story. Story. But I will say my expectations were a little bit higher than what I got. So I will wow. give it a six And yet you were ten. laughing. And yet you were laughing at the whole fucking movie. Uh, I said the highlight was Bunny and uh, Ducky. 
one highlight out of the whole movie. Right. One. Well, oh, you know what? No, I have a second highlight. The high-fiving combat guy. Oh my god, that was so good when they're in the woods. And then last one's like... like <laughs> so okay, good. Two highlights. Two highlights. So good. Come on, man. This is way more highlights than that. <laughs> no, but um, all right, guys, tell us what you think. Uh, leave your review down down below or your comments. Uh, you know, give it your score. Like, share this video. Help a brother out. Uh, we're trying to keep the lights on over here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, follow the Three Way Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, you can follow uh, Abby at DNA uh, Gamer Ninety yeah, that's right, guys. on Twitter. I'm Public uh, Enemy Fifty Nine on Twitter. Leave me uh, your thoughts and opinions, guys. Yeah, let us know opinions. what you thought. You know, cuss out Abby. I am more. I will support you. I will not delete your come, comment. I will, come, I will like come you paint. on the oh, country. Whoever yes. leaves the most meanest comment will get a retweet. <laughs> yes, do it. All right, guys. <laughs> hey, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Bye, guys.